Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be the test between the 6mm RKM and my 243 Winchester. I tried to do this the other day, but my chronograph gave out. Well, it's got a new battery and we're ready to go. Now, there's no such thing as better than. Uh, there's no such as equal than. But what I'm trying to do is to compare the data that I have for my 6mm arc against my 243 Winchester. The 243 Winchester holds 12 grains more powder, so the velocity ought to be higher and the energy be, ought to be higher. But we're actually going to test that today. So I hope this is going to be an uh, educational video for you, or at least you get some information out of it. So hang on, here comes the shooting. Okay, just a quick overview of these two rifles I'll be shooting today. The one closest to you is a hunting rifle. It is a Weatherby Vanguard Camilla, designed by women uh, for Weatherby. Uh, it has a very short length of pull of 13 inches, has a number one contour barrel of 20 inches in length. The overall weight of that rifle is about six and a half pounds. So it is lightweight and light designed and very compact. Uh, I pretty much have it in my arsenal for my grandchildren and any lady shooters that I have. The rifle in the back you already know about. That's my uh, six millimeter arc. It is a Sanders Armory upper with a 24 inch barrel. Uh, you've seen the previous videos on that. So let's get to the comparison. Okay, here's the cartridges I'll be comparing today. On the right hand side you see the uh, six millimeter arc with the 95 grain SST. Next to it is the 243 also with the 95 grain SST. So that'll be a real close apples to apples comparison in terms of at least bullet weight. On the left hand side here you have the uh, 243 with a 100 grain Sierra Game King and next to it you have the 105 grain Hornaday hollow point boat tail. Uh, you probably saw that in my last video as far as the load workup is concerned. Now, again, the objective of today is there's no one cartridge that's better than the other. I just want to make the comparison so that I can put it into ballistic data and find out uh, what, what works for me in specific situations. So hang on, folks. We'll get to the shooting now. Okay, up first is uh, Weatherby Vanguard Camilla 243 with the 95 grain SST. Now, I've not shot this rifle in two years, so uh, it was on the last time I shot it. Uh, we'll just see where it hits. So, I've got a camera down there. Let's take a look. Let's get going. Ears in, eyes on. Uh, it'll be the left hand target, lower left. Looks pretty doggone good to me. 2904. Twenty nine oh three. Boy, that looks awful good. I think you can probably see it better than I can. But let's go ahead and take a look. 
Well, it looks like my old hand loads still work. Uh, outstanding. Uh, 2902 is the average, an SD of 1, an extreme spread of 3 on those 95 grain SSTs. And I think you saw the shot pattern down there. Okay, so the next up is the 100 grain Sierra. I'm going to really be interested to see how these work because this is going to be a direct comparison against the 6 arc in terms of pull away. So let's, uh, let's get a look. I'll be shooting at the uh, lower target on the right. Nine thirty one. Twenty nine twenty nine. Yes, I forgot to. There we go. Twenty nine oh four. Okay. So that'll do it for the Camilla. Shits pretty well, but it always did. Uh, but now I'm interested to see what the arc's going to do in terms of velocity and accuracy using similar bullets and similar weight bullets, but a lot less powder. So hang on, folks. Uh, let me go ahead and get set up. I have to take the chronograph off the Camilla and uh, put it on the uh, six millimeter arc. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now the six millimeter arc uh, had a little break here because it rained and a thunder shower is coming in, so I've got to get this done real quick. Uh, so the first three shots are going to be the uh, Hornaday 95 grain SST to compare directly with the 243. The last three shots will be the uh, 105 grain uh, hollow point Botel by Hornaday, which will compare directly against the 243 with the 100 uh, grain Sierra. So, these are going to be real quick because the storm's coming. Uh, the target cam kicked out. Sorry about that. Uh, but I hope I got it back on now so that you'll see these last six shots. All right, hang on. It'll be the... Uh, Target on the right hand side. I'll go to the lower target on the left. Twenty-eight fifteen. Twenty-eight sixty. Twenty-eight thirty-two. Now keep in mind the uh, two forty-three with the ninety-five grain was only twenty-nine oh two. So I'm within sixty feet, fifty to sixty feet per second of the two forty-three with the same weight bullet. Okay, so here we go with the hundred grain. Here comes the lightning and the thunder. So these last three shots will be quick. Let me go ahead and clear off the chronograph. All 
Alright, here we go. It'll be the uh, lower target on the right. Twenty eight oh six. Twenty eight eleven. That gave me an average. Okay, folks, I uh, had to get back in a hurry, uh, beat a thunderstorm, kind of messed up the targets here a little bit, but the first target on your left there is the 243 Winchester. You can see the speed of the 95 SST at 2902 average, and that's a pretty good group there. You can see it, the size of a dime. The second one was uh, with the 100 grain Sierra, that opened up a little bit, but that average speed was 2918. If you can see on the right there, then finally the 6mm arc. Uh, pretty good groups there as well. 95 SST on the left. Uh, that average speed was 2832, which is only 60 feet per second less than the 243. On the right there is the 105 uh, grain Boattail hollow point by Hornaday. And that averaged 2803 which was about 110 feet per second slower than the 243. So uh, the objective was met, uh, the 6 millimeter arc uh, with similar weight bullets is only between 60 to 100 feet per second different than my 243. Now granted, the 243 does have a 20 inch barrel, so uh, these speeds on the 243 would be a little bit faster if it was a 24 inch barrel. Now thanks for watching folks, uh, if you like this content don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment if you will, but no matter what, uh, God bless you all and thanks for watching.